Angeli. You know, I sometimes wonder how I get through life. I'm not going to lie. Because my headphones were on mute. And I was having such a wonderful chat with you all about how kind it is of you to pop in because I know how many people are streaming right now. Uh, it was a lovely chat. It was a lovely chat and you all missed it. It's very heart it was very heartfelt. <laughs> it was a very heartfelt chat. Same thing applies. I appreciate you all very much because I know how many people are streaming right now. You could be there, but you've chosen to be here, which uh, means the world to me. Okay, so train stations in the Wild West had like two platforms, as far as I can tell from pictures. This side would be like the cargo side, so it didn't really have uh, that much on there. I always say the best things when no one can hear me. You know what it's like? It's like, you know, when you uh, you get into a dispute with somebody and then you leave and then like, I don't know, 10 minutes later, you're like, oh, I should have said that. That was a zinger. <laughs> it's my beautiful granddaughter's birthday today. Happy birthday to Aria. She is one in a million, that girl. I'm going to her, We're not going to see her today. We're going to her birthday party on Friday. Very excited. I'm going to wrap her present later. And I'm hoping when she gets it, she's like, what? Because not to blow her own trumpet, guys, but uh, Tracy and I, we nail the birthday presents for the grandkids. We nail them. So that's what we're hoping for. It's going to be hard to nail a... Uh, do any better than the one we did last year though, guys. The one we did last year was a ride-on unicorn. And man, did she love that thing. Oh, I'm already foreseeing a problem. Uh... I might have to make the train one wider and I don't want to because I had it one wider and I made it smaller so that the funnels would fit better. I think I might have to make it one wider again. Otherwise the tracks are going to look stupid. Now I want to know what it was. Last year's birthday present was a ride on unicorn. So she could sit on it, and when you pushed on the pedals, or on the stirrups, it moved. She freaking loves that thing. She, it's big, it's huge, because she's she's a big girl. She's not she's not a tiny little thing. Uh, and this year it's a clarinet because she's taken up clarinet at school, and she seems to really be enjoying it. So we bought her her own clarinet. I can say it safely because she, she's got zero interest in uh, watching Nonna stream. And she's at school today. Her auntie made her some beautiful cupcakes to take to school to share with her friends. And she put a note in there that like said, these are vegan and gluten free so everyone can enjoy. Here is a list of the ingredients. Which I thought was clever. I hadn't thought of that myself. Oops. If you make it wider, you will have to make it higher. Do you think so?
I did have it wider at the start, I should point out. And I made it thinner because when I went to put these on, I was like, oh, they're not in the middle. That's why I made it thinner. So I've, I've made this... Oh, and that's not going to be in the middle either now. Oh, the conundrums of Dinkum builds. Hmm. Well, it's going to have to be wider. I can't... I can't... Actually, you know what? Let's do a little tester here. Need the track. Did I not eat toffee? Oh, I did. Okay, let's see. Fake railway tracks would be amazing, wouldn't they? Just a tile that looks like uh, railway tracks. That'd be so much easier. like the thinner. We'll see what it looks like once the track's down. Just trying to think if there's an easier way of doing this track. Uh, I've just had a thought. Let me, let me, let me try and wangle this for a minute. Is it worth trying this? Let's let's do a fakey. Let's do a little fakey track over here to try and keep it three wide. One, two, three. Okay. Just had a thought. It'd be a lot easier than burying signs and trees and everything else. Get your opinion, chat. If we put these in front of it and just literally we're super lazy about it and... some little bushes or grass. Do you think that that is going to look enough like train tracks or do you think it looks too uh, too high? Do you know what I mean? Do you get me? Do you get me? Because the other idea of course was putting the signs down one after the other and then putting trees on each side but then that will need to be wider and I do like it thin as well I think it looks more more like a train but I guess this could look okay in the interim as like train sleepers we really need a tile that um, when you lay it down it looks like a sleeper you know, and you could um, you could have at it then, couldn't you? I'll put it down and we'll see. I'm going to cry if this doesn't work, so I'm going to have to dig all this out again.
the fun of Dinkum, isn't it? That you can um, do little experimentations until you get it exactly how you want. Well, as close to exactly how you want it. Actually, I wanted to check if the update was actually out today because I noticed it had words above the uh, title. So what if we just guest house deeds? Oh, so maybe it isn't out. Just my mistake. to work out whether or not to have the sleepers one high or have the grass one low. That might look better. You know? You know what I'm saying? Have... Ah, uh, look. Angelie, she's on the money. That's what I literally just said. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. Sleepers, ground level, railway track, deeper down. Yes. I think that'll look better as well. In fact, let's do a little practice, shall we? And start here. Now, if that's a sleeper, this will be down. Yeah, I just, uh, I just had that thought as well, Angelie. Oh, there's so many cans here. Might even run out along the side as well. No update yet. Yeah, Melanie, I was conf You know what it was? I was confused. Obviously, my brain doesn't take in all the information because when I loaded it this morning and saw that summer sun thing at the top. I was like, is that always there? <laughs> yeah, it's been there since the summer sun update, clearly. I was like, oh. Durr. Forgive my stupidness. Let me just make sure I haven't missed anything here. Like dinner. Hey, Kent. Oh, you've bought you brought your food already. You don't need to you don't need to leave to get it today, Kent. <laughs> it was it was becoming a little thing, wasn't it? Yeah, pass it along, Kent. What did you get? What tasty treats did you get? Yeah, I like the ones in the ground better. That's what we're going for. Fried fish. Print on bangers. Blue marlin. Wow, that is a 
that's a very um well for here that would be a like a rare fish to eat it's crazy those things are um, massive Your toffee. <laughs> Take this back to where it was now. I wonder how much time us Dinkum players would save if we uh, got it right the first time. A lot. <laughs> A lot is what I'm going to guess. A whole heap in helping. Alright. Hey, it's getting there. I'll sleep shortly so that uh, so that the stream's better for you guys. Mm. 
we'll brighten it up a little. And sleep. I'm like we're getting colder and colder and I know it's cold outside today so I was like oh even with a hoodie on I'm getting chilly yeah Angela because your air conditioner is turned on you goose you absolute goose have another? Well, we do not. Let's get rid of some junk. People who don't use the uh, dev, co dev commands are like, oh, look at all those goodies she's getting rid of. What a lunatic. Oh, have I not got my Aussie hat on today? We shall rectify. We shall rectify that momentarily. I'm going to take an extra shovel. Got to have our Aussie hat on if we're in the Wild West. Got to dress the part. There we go. That's better. River on this one. Do I want it down that mark? That yeah. another cart on let's add another cart on just so that it's um how many was this I've forgotten one two three four five six seven Tony Greybeard. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. We're working on the Wild West uh, train station today, including the train. I'm looking forward to our catch up today if we get to do it also, Tony. I have not forgotten. I appreciate you taking the time. Tony is helping me 
look into 3D printers. Just out of curiosity to see how far they've come. Uh, my son-in-law's got a resin printer and I thought if ever I got another one that would be the one I'd want because of the uh, the print quality basically being smoother than the print lines but having looked into it over the last uh, couple of weeks it's very messy <laughs> resin 3d printing very messy it's kind of put me off and put me back on the old uh, filament filament train boomtish only apologize if you can hear that incessant hammering. Uh, it's been going on for well over a year I think. They're building a bar or something beneath our apartment. It's just, oh, it's nauseating. Okay. Not a problem. I'm ready anytime. Oh no, you stuffed up a resin job. Was that plain resin? Not you don't have a resin printer, do you? You're using ABS as well. It's so annoying when um, you screw up something like that and it's obviously costing you money. Back when I used to... Um, back when I used to sell props, I don't think people understand the time or materials that go into those things. Or oh, maybe I should have left that wood. Mm. Yeah, it's painful when you when you screw up something that's, you know, costly. And resin is expensive. A resin pour. Yeah, that's painful. That's painful. The worst, um, or one of the worst, because I've had a few prop making experiences that I had back when I was doing it for money. This girl in Singapore had ordered a Loki scepter. This is before you could buy the, the mass marketed one. So it needed to be made from scratch. And it was something that I'd made patterns for and I'd made a few so I wasn't too stressed about doing it but it was very time intensive uh, making it out of MDF putting the uh, putting the lighting through the middle of it and all that sort of thing so anyway long story short I make the scepter I charge what probably equated to five dollars an hour uh, you know labor costs so my prices were pretty great made it all looked great packaged it up fantastic it's going all the way to Singapore so I put in the strengtheners and the corners of the box and all that sort of thing I also when I used to send out props to people I would put in some Australian lollies just as like a fun thing um, so I put those in there and off it went anyway a couple of weeks later I get a I get an email from the girl who's ordered the scepter. It's broken, she says. It arrived broken. Now fair enough, things happen. Okay, things arrive broken. But I knew with my packaging there is no chance. Unless an elephant has like discoed on it. This thing was not broken when it arrived. So I, all I could do is say, send it back to me. That's literally all I could do. So she sends back the package. Package is fine. 
and the top of the scepter snapped off the blade part. I could tell straight away she'd broken it. It wasn't definitely wasn't the postage. And just to add a little bit of salt and lemon to that wound, she'd uh, kept the lollies. <laughs> I assume she'd eaten them when she opened the box. Yeah, that was that was unpleasant because obviously it costs a lot of money. Some people, eh? Some people. Not a care in the world for others. Yeah, I had I cried real tears over that one. Because you know that if you're if you're a, an artist and you put something out there, and you know you say I'm not giving you a refund, you know that that person is going to hammer you on social media, and you're screwed. So yeah, fun times, artist life. Oh, Tony, say hi to your mum. Angelie, I'm going to choke you. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> Make them five wide, you reckon? Okay. Toffee keeps running out really fast. Maybe I'm just super slow today. a question because I don't usually do it there is a plant that looks kind of like the resin right whoa this is crocodile infestation look at this uh, yeah there's a little green plant that looks like that does anyone know the name of it off the top of their head oh this one this one here oh actually and that one is that just resin can we plant resin Let's see. Let's see if we get any seeds. Dang it! There's a seed. So what is it called? A bush seed. Bush. Done. I'm full. Oh, I need to drink my coffee. One sec. You've reminded me, Kent. Thank you. Before it gets cold. Bury the can you bury the spin effects? You think I would know being over I think it's eight hundred hours into this game whether or not you can plant certain things, right? I'm gonna assume not. <gasps> you can I should really have known that, shouldn't I? That's terrible.
You can bury it. Let's get rid of some stuff again. I feel like I've seen more uh, tins in this area than anywhere else that I've ever built. It's just a... Uh, just flush with them. Crazy. It's just crazy. I'm seeing spin effects where there's no spin effects, guys. These unkempt tracks. What sort of shoddy business is this? Oh, I see. I should have found. Um... Yeah, put them next to each other. I knew that shovel was going to break. I preempted that. Uh, happy stream. I'm heading back to Sunken Land and designing my room. Ooh, Sunken Land sounds good. I didn't realize you could design rooms in it. What the? Yeah, enjoy sunken lands. Sounds cool. I'm gonna need to look into that a little bit, a little bit more deeply. No pun intended. overgrown tracks. <clears throat> now the other side's brick, isn't it? Do I not have any brick tile left? Maybe we should be looking into Sunken Land, Angeli. Although I think it's first person. And I know that um, Pink is not a fan.
some of these. All the things waiting to be put on board. Not what I meant to do, meant to grab that.
by the way, Gurley and AJ Jose post my museum build and my community map. Oh, I'll watch that one, Kent. I enjoyed your last one. What you did with the water was just amazing. Really, really pretty. Hey, Cat Raiders! Oh, he finally got his Cat Rena. <laughs> it seemed like quite a chore. It seemed like he, um, he wasn't having a lot of luck, was he? Uh, trying to get that, trying to get that cat. I feel like at one point he uh, he overlooked Delhi. Who overlooks Delhi? Delhi's the best character <laughs> to me. Delhi's my favorite character. I love Delhi. I might go back and uh, have a look at my old Animal Crossing, even though I stupidly deleted the lovely town I had um, at the the front, like the entrance. Uh, I might pop it on. Because uh, my lovely wife has made it so that I can play uh, my Switch on streams now. Switch and PS5. She's hooked them all up. It's just one monitor isn't working, but she said she's going to fix it this weekend. I'll see how she feels. She's not very well at the moment, bless her. She's got a terrible sore throat and she's off today. Off today at work with a terrible sore throat. Not good. No, I'm sitting here playing video games. Yeah. Yeah, if I continue these, one. So one will go here. Space, one, space. One, space, one, space. Oh, so there would be a space, okay. Just checking, just checking. Man, I was just saying, you were having all manner of trouble trying to find those cats today, weren't you? Goodness me. Oh, chicken soup for Tracy. She she needs it, bless her. She she works too hard, but she um, it's hard it's hard to get her to stop. Pardon me, it's hard to get her to stop. She's um she's always been that way. She's a grafter. Yeah, much to her own uh, detriment. She did not sound good at all this morning. Hoping for a nice, peaceful uh, weekend. I can spoil her a little bit. haven't even had time to go back to Pal World for a wee while as well. I'm going to leave this lake area here. I just want to get rid of the river because it looks a bit weird how it's just stopping now. <coughs> Gonna have to finish watching this tomorrow. Ten hours of YouTube has blown my brain. Oh wow, Rena. Yeah, no, that's a lot. <laughs> you go and rest your brain. That's crazy. But Deli is not a cat. Yeah, I know. Deli is a monkey. He's still the best character in Dink in in Dinkum. In Animal Crossing. I love him so much. Oh man, I got uh, extra compactors and no extra printers. Oops. Hey, 
Hey, spark the fire. Using that cute little Animal Crossing uh, emoji as well. I've made some emotes. I just need to work out how on earth to uh, upload them. They're not Animal Crossing though, strangely. Or Dinkum. They are raccoons, because I love raccoons. And I'm sort of here. Baby and four-year-old duties today. Oh, Spark. That's, uh, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. <clears throat> are they both quite rambunctious as well? Or are they, are, are they quiet? Tell us why you're fascinated with raccoons. Uh, I don't really know why I'm fascinated with them. I just think they're the most adorable little thing. They've got a little mask on and they're, they've got a stripy tail. And I just love the way they react to things. Like one of my favorite GIFs, if you haven't seen it, uh, Google, what would you say? Shocked raccoon, maybe? And just the way that they like, they can walk on two feet. I just, I just love them. I love them. I know they're terrifying. I know they've, they've got diseases and things like you don't, you don't want to hang with them. I know that. I get all that. But to me, they're just so cuddly. I love raccoons. I'm sad we don't have raccoons in Australia. I follow numerous raccoon things on Instagram and one of them's a guy in, I think he's in South Korea and he's got a pet raccoon and oh my god, he carries it around in a baby, like a baby sling. It's just the most adorable thing. And yes, I know that that's not normal. That's not normal raccoon behavior, but it just, oh, he cuddles the thing and it's adorable. I love it. Your favorite is a red panda. I, c I can see that. I like red pandas. I liked that movie Red. I watched that with uh, Jackson. We both really enjoyed that one. Uh, Four-year-old slowing down. He started to watch Clifford. Fingers crossed he may fall asleep. Baby, she is awake. Good. She's squishing my face and slobbering me with kisses. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, don't you, like, as they get older, you miss those drunken baby days, don't you? Where they're just all slobbery and adorable. You know when they get milk drunk and they're just sort of flopping around? Oh, you just want to squish them.
the one where they play dead when they see people. Yeah, they, the the GIF Angeli is they're walking along and then they and then people see them and they just stop. And I think one of them puts his hands in the air. Hands. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hands. Paws. Whatever. Hands. Puts his little raccoon hands in the air. My favourite is the sugar glider. Oh, Tony! See if you were allowed to have those as pets here. I'm sure that I would have one. They're just adorable, aren't they? Beautiful little thing. I'd be scared to hurt it, though. They seem quite fragile. Opossums play dead. Oh, they do. Eat a prime roast and then a toffee. Oh, I've been told. I've been told. Okay, I better get some prime roast. Yeah, there's so many cute animals that we're not allowed to have as pets here. Which is probably a good thing in fairness. People can be dicks. Have I got how much toffee have I got left? Whoa, 209, are you crazy? Eat a prime roast, and then a toffee. There we go. Done. Look at that. That is a gif I remember. Some people have put voiceovers on that vid. Oh, I've not seen that, but that sounds freaking hilarious. It's one of my favorite gifs of all time. I just, I could watch it a hundred times and not be, not be over it. We can have them as pets, but it is a strict law for them. Sugar gliders? In Australia, really? Can't even have a rabbit here in Queensland. I'd love a pet raccoon. Like that I that I um helped raise from a baby. So it was used to humans. Oh. Still remember the first time I saw a uh, a raccoon in the wild. It was at what's that place called? The Madonna Inn. In I think it's in California. And Tracy and I were walking back to our room after having dinner, and a raccoon crossed the road in front of us, and I nearly died. I was so happy. So if you could have one animal as a pet, what animal would you choose? Would you choose a sugar glider, Tony? What would you choose, Angelie? Would you choose a red panda? Or are they just your favourite animals? Like, if you could have one as a pet that you knew wouldn't hurt you, what would you choose? I always wanted a chimp when I was, um, when I was younger. I always thought, oh, that'd be so fun. And then remember that chimp? that lost its mind in America and uh, hurt that lady. Yeah, that put me off. <clears throat> Those things are strong. We love raising bat and flying foxes. <gasps> Stop it! I would have the glider. Mrs. G wants a flying fox. <laughs> Can't blame her for that. So you like the, all the flying animals? I'd be scared they'd fly away. Flying foxes are adorable though, aren't they? We've got 
got so many adorable animals in Australia, but why don't we have raccoons? Tony, that's so freaking adorable. Sky puppets. <laughs> Sky puppies, I love it. we getting on here? Are we nearly there? We're nearly there. Actually, you know what I might do? I might remove this. Just be lazy about it. Get away from me, you. Where's my lightsaber? You're in for a world of hurt. Bye! I have to choose. You gotta choose, Angeli. What would you have? If you could have one pet, what would it be? A pet that you knew wouldn't hurt you no matter what it was. What would you choose? Sea puppies. Yeah, I've heard of sea puppies before, <laughs> but I've not heard of sky puppies. We had a possum for many, many years in our backyard. His name was Basil, the brush tail, and he would come down and socialize when we were out in the yard. Basil brush! I love it! I love it, Spark. That's so cool. I would have a whole zoo, but automate the feeding and the cleaning. Daughter took him to school when she was seven. Show and tell. That's a brilliant. Wow, it must have been pretty docile to have uh, made the trip to school. We have brush tails and ring tails. Come to feed. Mrs. G gets to pat them sometimes. A cuddly koala. A panther to play with Izzy and Kiri. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny how in the US um, some people do have things like that for pets, right? Crazy fools. Crazy fools. I told you my raccoon zoo story, right? Why I don't like zoos anymore? I think I told you all that story before. Terrible. Terrible. Never really liked zoos overly anyway, but that did it for me.
god, every time I go the wrong way on that uh, shoulder button. Hilarious. Yeah, my, my uh, zoo story was we went to San Diego Zoo, which is a beautiful zoo. It's very big. And I was desperate to see a raccoon. A raccoon. I was so desperate to see a raccoon. And I was like, well, they don't have raccoons uh, in the zoos that I've been to in Australia, but they might have it in a US zoo because it's a US animal, right? So I'm so pumped. I need to see this raccoon. I had thought about it for a month. I'm not even exaggerating. Months. I'm going to see a raccoon. And uh, we found the raccoon and it was in a cage maybe the size of half a tennis court. Maybe smaller, maybe a third of a tennis court. A pickleball court. And um, I have never seen such a distressed creature. And as I watched it walking back and forth, back and forth in this little gully that it had dug from pacing, I said to Tracy, this is my last zoo visit. No more zoos. That is terrible. That thing is obviously highly distressed. I actually cried. I was like, I wanted to see it so bad that I hadn't even thought in my brain how does how does the raccoon feel about it about me wanting to see it so bad it was so selfish and we haven't been to a zoo since poor little guy I can still see him back and forth back and forth back and forth oh terrible The Wild West Town is coming along. It's looking a bit more full now, isn't it? With the train station. It's coming along. Oh, you dope. Okay. Oh, why is it stripey? What is happening? Urg. Black oil it is. Oh, I wish we had just a flat black. A flat everything, in fact. enough for the train. Not even close. Not even close. Go so high is the problem. This is as high as it goes, is it? Oh, it's not. Oh, good.
And we'll suffer the same mental problem we have when locked up. Right, Tony? Oh, I can't put into words how awful it was, honestly. I just, I, I think I felt such utter guilt as well that I hadn't even given that a thought when I was so desperate to see one. Just terrible. Valuable lesson learned. Animals are not there for my entertainment or joy. The heightened income sucks. Can't build much. I want, that's why I don't go in there anymore. Yeah, the height really is an issue. Everybody complains about the height. I haven't, um, I mean, I love this game, as you all know. It's my favourite game. I think James Benden has done a miraculous thing here. I think when it fully releases, it is going to blow up. Um, and rightly so, as it should. But the height is a real issue. Yeah, it's a real issue. It definitely could be doing with uh, going higher. We've had that issue in New York, as you know. Everything just looks so squashed. That, um... Yeah, everybody complains about the height. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't make things uh, easy, that's for sure. up an Aussie hat? No, you didn't, you dope. You were wearing it. Don't need all those barrels anymore. Boxes. Short New York skycrapers look weird. Yeah, it's all very stumpy. I think we'd all give uh, anything to have an extra 10. Even an extra 5 would make a difference. But I think the way that the games... I'm sure he's he's covered this numerous times. That he's set it up that way and it's almost impossible for it to be... For the height to be changed. Which is such a shame because... Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of people have fall off their chair if he, uh, Said he'd change the height, that's for sure. I guess the height takes up so much server memory. Yeah, I've, I hear about um, I 
hear about this at work, obviously, because we're trying to do... Uh, without going into too much detail because of NDAs and things, but we're trying to do really high definition graphics in VR and um, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's hard stuff. I think people just think that uh, you throw these things together and they just work, but they don't. A lot of moving parts. Yeah, I imagine there's certain things he's going to need to add to the game before it gets a full, proper release, though, because pe you know that people are going to moan about it straight away. Because we love it, and we all complain about certain things, you know? Like, no, not having roofs. I know he's working on the... Obviously, he's got that tin roof, but that's not working properly. But the ability to be able to put roofs on... Even the pergolas, they're really lovely, but you can't put anything underneath them. So you can't, um, you can't use them as a roof, really, because it's not like you can furnish anything or... Yeah, it's a shame. I, d I don't envy the guy, that's for sure. Uh, he works his butt off for us. And we all still want, want, want. But by the same token, that's testament to how much we love the game, right? If we didn't want, 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 that would be more of a worry, I feel. Because we'd just be apathetic towards what was happening. So in a way, every time we ask him for something, it is kind of a uh, compliment to him. That we want to stick with it and we just want it to get better and better. That's how I feel about it anyway. I don't think you should ever feel, um, you know, stressed when we're asking for things because it is truly a compliment to him and his development skills. Oh, go away. Go away, meanie. Go away. Still got my lightsaber? Yes. Yeah, it's a testament to him. He does a good job. He's done an amazing thing. Uh, love the tunnel idea. Oh, cheers, Angela. It's an easy way of making the train track look like it's bigger than it actually is because I'm just going to fill this in uh, probably to Mars <laughs> so that they're adjoining but not adjoining, if you know what I mean. Must have to do with memory. If you do too high of buildings and have a lot of items, you could get frame drops or lag. Yeah. Maybe it's like the bridges. If he changes it, it will screw up our save files. There's that as well, right? There's a lot of people that would be quite angry if he changed something and it completely screwed up their things that they've worked on for hundreds of hours. I'll be honest. We've all worked on things together on my... Uh, on my save file and it would be devastating to lose those but show of hands if you could have extra height and you could build under things and there were roofs like all the things that we all constantly ask for if you could have those things in Dinkum would you be devastated to lose your save file I'd like to see what you think about that because I know my my thoughts on it I want to see what you think uh, if we could have all the big changes that people ask for, 
would you be devastated to lose your save file if it meant having those things? I don't think he ever meant for it to be a decorating. No, he. I don't think he did either. I think he thought it was a run around, do chores, get better game. But without the decorating, Melanie, how? What's the longevity? Do you think? I feel like without the without the decorating, the longevity of Dinkum is. It's a lot smaller. Because once you've done everything, it's like Animal Crossing. Once you've done it, you've done it. No matter how good the game. But the decorating, you can come up with ideas that no one, like Wild West, I've not seen anyone else do that. And there you've got a new idea. So although it's not a decorating game, it's certainly a huge aspect of it, isn't it? <clears throat> we all play it because we love the decorating, don't we? When I was a game dev, we would do everything in the game to please the players, but they always wanted more or better. It's just human nature, isn't it? I don't think it... Yeah, he did not mean for it to be a decorating game. Uh... I would moan for a bit and then play it again. Exactly, Anjali. That's what I think too. If I knew that we were going to get all the big things, like fully game-changing things, roofs, the ability to build under things, height, I'd be like, take away my 800 hours. I'll start again. With those extra things. Because we'd have to change things anyway with those extra things. It would change the way things were made. Yeah, I love I love chat and dinkum. I love it. I, I talk about this game too much. It must drive my wife absolutely bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. To the point where when I first started playing it and I was, I think, a little bit addicted, my wife messaged James Benden on Twitter to, to thank him for, for making such a wonderful game. He never replied. <laughs> he probably thought, who's this freaking lunatic? Yeah, he must get sick of hearing it. I mean, everybody praises him constantly. I wonder at what point does that become super uncomfortable? I praise him to people I don't even know uh, that don't even know the game. <laughs> oh gosh. Weirdo.
It's a getting there. I would finally be able to make Machu Picchu. Yeah, you're going to need some major height for that one. That's for sure. I'm all about the decorating. Yeah, Melanie, I think most, I think a huge percentage of Dinkum players are all about the decorating. I have no problem with starting over in a game. I've had a lot of games that I put hundreds of hours in and had to restart and I've been fine with it. Same Catman, if you enjoy it that much, especially if you're getting a quality of life update, I feel. Um, I don't mind doing that. I'm glad we have the options to decorate. I wouldn't have enjoyed Dinkum as much without it. Yeah. Yep. Maybe he can have two versions so we can still access the current islands. Yeah, I wonder how that would work. I don't know if that would be doable. So what was the point of the game besides decorating? Well, I assume, Tony, it was a crafting game where you farmed and did all that sort of thing. Yeah, it's really taken off as a decorating title, that's for sure. Talking of the good old Dinkum, I started a new island. Oh, the grind of collecting resources again. I know, I'd like to go back. I started, um... I started, well, well, my first island I didn't cheat on at all. I still don't have the bloody guitar on that island. Um, yeah, I would like to play it from the very beginning without the cheats on. But for decorating purposes, it's so much easier to just put them on and have at. Which I know is bad. But it's true. Don't worry, I'm not going to build this entire tunnel, just so you know. I'm just filling it in a little bit. And we'll get back and start on the theater. Dev and God modes tend to kill games. Yeah, usually I would agree, Tony, but I have to say the creative mode on this or the dev commands um, have made it more fun. It takes away the pain of trying to collect everything when you've got a huge idea that you want to implement. Like New York, I don't think we wouldn't have been able to build New York without the dev commands. It just, yeah, it would have, it would have been. It would have taken too long. I think the grind of it would have uh, killed that idea. <laughs> it 
baby clam while I was typing. I love it. We need to play together now, Spark. We need to play together. Was that a crocodilio I just saw? No. I forgot to eat again. Speaking of updates. I want this to look like it's a sort of natural formation. <gasps> that was a crocodilly that I saw. I knew I wasn't seeing things, cheeky monkey. <laughs> Little spike is late. She is the cow. Do you not have any? Uh, do you not have any milk? Had a busy two weeks with baby duties and spark away. It's my granddaughter's birthday today. Uh, I'm going to have fun with her on Friday at her party. I thought we'd get to see her today, but she's at her dad's, so... Ding. I think we'll go one more printer and then we'll head over to the theatre and start working out what to do there. Easy. Okay, let's call that. It's getting there. It's getting there. I do have milk in the freezer, but she shouldn't be far away. If I feed her now, little spark will grumble. <laughs> She'll be full. Fair. That's fair. I'm wondering if I should pull this theatre out a little bit. 
I think I'll have to fit more chairs in. Let's take a peek. Oh, I know what it was going to have a facade like the like the church. So that when you see it here, it looks like a proper building. But when you sneak in the back, we've decorated inside. That's what it was. That's why I've put this here. It's a facade. Ah, forgot. Now, I've just put that off center, haven't I, by doing that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I haven't. Oh, good. Maybe I'll make it that wide to leave the gap to go in.
trash bag fashion lover. That is that is a username, isn't it? <laughs> Doing good, thank you. Please wear a plastic bag as clothing in real life now in stream. Just make a hole for the head and the arms in one bag. Second bag, make a hole in the legs and tie at waist. You know, I have done that. I have done that in my younger years as a as a wee joke. Makes a good uh, poncho for if it's raining as well. A large black bag. Bags are too small, you can use it as underwear by making a hole in the legs. Top tip! And waterproof if you've got a weak bladder. Isn't YouTube wonderful, guys? Oh yeah, for sure, I'll just pop that on. I've just got that in my back pocket. I'll pop that on. I think that person might need to be in a different kind of stream if you know what I'm saying. Ah, dang it, I'm one off, guys. I'm one off. Oops. Ah, boop. I'm trying to make them mainstream fashion. I hope everyone tries. But the, the only downside of your... Uh, Every idea trash bag fashion lover is that it's not very environmentally friendly. So there's that. You're going to get cancelled for uh, for that aspect of your fashion idea. Nobody wants that. Yes, because you can reuse them. Also, I don't care if I get cancelled. <laughs> uh, it's a good idea for the environment. Oh, they need to be recyclable plastic. Okay. I'm with you. I'm with you now. What do we want here? Gumwood or hardwood? I can't remember what else we've got. Let's try it. Uh, let's pop some red out. Let's make it pop. Then we definitely need some ramps. Have we got ramps? There was trash bag fashion back in the 1980s, and I don't think it took off. Yep, that's true. Will you do a video while wearing them playing any game? No, no, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Spark, hey guys, got to head out. See you all later. See you, Spark. 
now the building next to us is white brick black brick brown so I think we can safely make this one be brick also stick some fake windows on as well uh, is that, that's not brick let's pop these down here ramps red Did I not grab brick? Am I a dope? Uh, hmm. Let's grab some brick. Are you going into uh, guys' channels and asking them to wear trash bags? I'm just wondering, trash bag fashion lover. Or is it just women? Just women's streams? Or are you going in guys' streams asking them? Brick. Yes, please. Oh, all people. Oh, well, there's that then. At least it's not uh, what I thought it was. Hmm, maybe I should make the back black. Uh, oh, we'll make the facade wood. That's what we'll do. Just to differentiate it a bit. here with the gingerbread oh no is that one level down oh it is okay fixed gingerbread and let's make the front let's do that uh, I feel like it's just going to be a brick out if I do that maybe I should make it wood Try it and see. Might look awful. <clears throat> it's not terrible, is it? It could be better, but it's not terrible. I don't want to diss anyone because you know what you do is your own business but surely there's a better way to spend your time trash bag because you know most people aren't going to do that right and if somebody does it what difference is it really making to the world just feel bad that you're uh And you've subscribed. I'm not sure my channel's going to be for you, to be honest with you, trash bag. But thank you, thank you for the subscription. I do appreciate it. Just not sure that uh, I'm going to be streaming anything that's going to be of great interest to you. Fashion's not really my. Uh, it's not really my forte. Brick up the front here. It's looking a little bit theatery, right? I hope. Mm. 
better making clothes from used Woolies paper shopping bags? Well, Lord knows, Tony, I always forget to take my Woolies paper shopping bags back, even though they're reusable, and I end up with a cupboard full of them. But at least they are uh, recyclable and they are okay for the environment, as okay as paper can be for the environment. Uh, wardrobe. Uh, will we go for that one? Is it dark background? Let's go for that one. Steps. Hardwood. Oh gosh, 99 at a time? No, that's not what we need. I'll, I'll sleep in a moment, guys, so that the stream isn't quite so dark. I can see it's dark for me, so it's probably really dark on stream. Oh, dang it. Are you not going to fit there? Why did I think that would work? <laughs> I want to cry just a little. I want to cry just a little. Dang it. You know what? I'm going to make fake doors. pop in the, these gaps. Let's see what statue choices we have. Uh, none of them are one. Oh, we could put the shark. Let's put the shark. I kind of like that. It's cute. <coughs> Didn't need 99 of them though. Oh no, I've just realised my sign's going to be too... Arrgh. My sign's not going to fit either, is it? Dang it. flat to the ground. Oh, the sign's not going to work, is it? Let me see. Oh. <laughs> Guys, why? James Bendon, why? Why? He needs to release all different width signs. Right? Because of Fiverr? Five sign would be good right now. Okay. What can we possibly do to fix this issue without rebuilding that entire place, which I don't want to do? No, I am not redoing the whole thing, Angeli. No, I refuse. I refuse. And that one's too modern looking, the green one. It needs to be wood. Uh, let's go hardwood. What else can we do? What else can we do? 
It's got to be a hardwood sign. Oh, I'm so bummed about that. I really should have... I really need to keep in mind my uh, dimensions before I get too carried away, right? Let's pop one there and we'll pop one there. Oh, gutted. What? Right. Now, how do Americans spell theater? The Aider. Or do they spell it E R? I think they might spell it E R. We spell it R E. Is that right? Theater. No, James. Why? I know when he releases one uh, like decorative object, he needs to release them in like three different sizes <laughs> to stop us moaning uh theater okay oh I'll, I'll go to bed so the stream's lighter That's how early in the island I am, guys, that I, um, I've still got visitors coming in tents. It's intense. A uh, bada boom, bada bing. Oh, wow, it looked really fat to me then. Oh, this is double though. Ugh, triple. Slow and steady wins the race. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That was there for a reason. Da. Yep. Stop, 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 Angela, stop. because it's been so long since I did this bit. What a dope. Ezzy was thick. Oh, she was sick. Yeah, always good when your pet is sick and misses the carpet, right? Does anyone remember this TV show called The Good Old Days? 
and it was like an oldie fashioned theatre and they would do variety acts. I loved that show when I was young. I don't really get shows like that anymore, like proper variety. Probably in the UK. We certainly don't get them here in Australia, sadly. This is going to be one, two. Then one, two. Why is this one different? Oh no, it's right. Measurements are a okay. <laughs> I love that kangaroo came in, had a look around, and then left. inside be let's put gum wood just because it's a little bit lighter I should have looked up Wild West theater shouldn't I really before I started uh, just decorating I've got that sort of vaudeville theater in my brain. Put 
some red carpet down, even though it's the Wild West. I feel like, let's get schmancy. Let's make it a little bit fancy. I was watching a documentary on the Wild West yesterday, and they did discuss how we always imagine it to be super grungy, but it really wasn't that bad. It's uh, Hollywood movies that have made us think that. So that was quite fascinating to learn. Now the roo's back. Having a nosy. Having a nosy. Yeah, let's put... Can't put palm. Gum. Yeah, we can put palm. Stealing Angelie's idea here. Uh, just so everybody knows. Not my idea. Oh no, how do I put them? Do I drop it? Oh, I drop it. Okay. Drop it this way so it looks... No, that's backwards. This way? Why are you backwards? God damn it! Oh, they just, it just randomly places it. Okay. We'll send you an invoice <laughs> for your wonderful idea. I just like giving credit. I didn't think of it. You thought of it. I think it's a great idea. Well done, you. Well done, you, is what I say. Uh, um, I know. going to be right. Might be this one. Stone though. We need a little miner's lamp. We need, you know what we need, Angelie? <laughs> Not that any of us are going to tell James because we don't want to uh, pile on. Miner's lanterns for decoration. Uh, mine carts for decoration. And train tracks. Train track tile for decoration. That would be magnificent. Magnificent, I tells you. Wow, those footlights are really high, aren't they? I think that's too big. Unless I dig it down one. Oh, these are cute. Let's stick with these. These look like little full lights, kind of. What do you think? It's about as best as we can go. Can't find any pictures of a theatre from, from the Old West. Give us all the things, James. Poor James. Poor James. Uh, 
This tire, James. Angeli, get on it. Tell him we need this tire that just sits upright. That's it. That's all it needs to do. Sit upright and clip to dirt. Game changer. Can you imagine how great the vehicles would look with that? Oh, that's definitely high on my list. Definitely, definitely high on my list. And the model's already made. The model's already made, Angeli. It's made already. Right, what chairs would we go here? None of these are oldie fashioned enough, are they? It's literally going to be the wooden chair. The dark wood chair, the eastern chair. I guess we could go stylish chair. Let's look let's look what that one looks like. I, I don't have a recollection. It looks like it's made of wood, which is a good start. That looks alright. What do you think? little bit of color as well. Oh, should I do double rows? Let's do double rows. Make it look even more busy. Actually, let's think about this logically. No, pop off. Probably had little boxes at the side, but it is what it is. Oh, I forgot to take that one out. Grand Old Opry. The Grand Old Opry is still a thing, right, Tony? Is that the one that's in Tennessee? Uh, brick steps. No, we want wooden steps. Where did we go? We went gumwood, didn't we? You are going to see that message after you place all the chairs, aren't you? Oh gosh, how about the waiting room chairs? <laughs> waiting room chairs. I thought the waiting room chairs were metal. Let me have a look. Let me have a look.
They're metal, aren't they? I feel like we're going for wood because it's Wild West. GG, sent GG, a link. Okay, let's have a look at this Grand Old Opry. See if we can steal any ideas. Oh, so it's like a giant barn, really, isn't it? Johnny Cash. There's not many pictures of the stage, is there? Oh, the floods. Wow, that's crazy. So it's bench seating in there by the looks of it. We don't have benches that click together though, do we? They have big gaps in between. Yeah, that's a little bigger than what we're going for here. Need some lighting. Maybe I'll put the lighting up on the walls on the outside. Is that gum? No, it's path. Hard. Let's stick with hard to keep the front looking quite dark. Yeah. That was a great chat about Dinka Melly, by the way. I, I enjoyed that. That was really good. Good chit chat. about the same colour as the brickwork, isn't it? Or should I make the outside be the brickwork? Thoughts, feelings? Uh, let's have, hang on. It takes two squares to the gap, so the gap doesn't matter. Put one square the red carpet to look like an opera curtain. Oh, on the on the thing in the middle? That makes sense. All right, I'll change this to brick as well, I think, because it's meant to be a facade for that front, front part, and that's brick, so we'll do that. Yeah, we do. Hello. Hey, you. Are you on a break? Lunch break. Boop, boop. 
I know the stream's so quiet today. I think we've had under 10 people the entire time. Ooh. Very quiet. Everyone's busy trying to finish work before Easter break. Uh, yeah. Well, that's what we tell ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's what we tell ourselves. It's looking great. Yeah, the town's coming along. And I watched a, uh, you know that show that you put me on to the um, Drain the Ocean? One yes. of them was about the Wild West. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's the one that I watched. And they said people didn't have it as rough and ready as movies oh. made us think they did. Yeah. I missed that episode. Catman still here lurking. Catman, what is the oh, time geez, for you? Catman, right? That must be insane. Out of control, Catman. Out of control. Especially after streaming for so long. He streamed three today. Oh my lord. Mm hmm. That is crazy. He did two paleo because of paleo update and then the villager hunt. Oh. oh, that villager hunt took so long. I slept and got up. <laughs> they were still villager hunting. <laughs> That's mad. Yeah, I don't know how your neck does it. My neck's sore at the moment. I'm going to have to leave soon enough. Um, yeah, I couldn't do it for that long. That My neck would be uh, screaming at me. When um, Animal Crossing first came, um, and people started streaming on Twitch and stuff. I remember watching villager hunts that took like 200, 300 tickets just to get a specific villager. Oh my god. Yeah. Like, they were dedicated. I mean, not that I wasn't because I was using that many tickets as well. But, um, yeah, people stuck around and watched. That's A person insane. just island hop. I've got my, uh, I've got my, um, what are they called? Amiibo cards. <laughs> so when I do yeah. my, when I do my village thing, I'm just going to use them. I'll be like, what, what uh, animal would you like to see today? <laughs> <laughs> Let's Amiibo them in. Catman stream for 10 hours. Oh, Catman. Dude. Yep. Crazy Catman. You, uh, you can you can uh, turn the light towards the wall so you don't get that, you know, sticking out bit, but you still get the light. So how do you do it? So you pop the wall, uh, pop the light down, but turn the light that's sticking out into the wall. Like that? Like well, into the actual brick? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, did not know that. Thank you for the top tip again. Very good. You're welcome. It, it is a bit muted, but um, it doesn't have that jarring effect of a light popping out. Yeah. I saw that. You were like, I'm going to take a break, but I also have to do this tech issue thing. And I was like, yep, that's going to take a while. Ten hours, though. I mean, how long have I been on now? And I feel absolutely shattered. <laughs> You've been two, two plus hours. Oh, what a, what a, what a lightweight cat, man. What a lightweight I am. <laughs> Um, I, I don't know if you said something and I was muted due to work, but um, you don't want to put floor lights instead of the lanterns? The floor lights were big. The garden ones? No, no. Floor lights. The, oh, no, the I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying to keep it look Wild West and they're electric uh, lights, you know. They wouldn't have those floor lights. Come on. <laughs> they used to be, um, that's what I was saying, we need a miner's lantern. That would be an awesome addition. 
But the floor lights used to be little candles in like a little curved oh, metal. Oh, I was just about to say candles. Yeah, they used to be candles that they would have in the theatre. Oh, yeah, I think that the theatre is done. That seems a bit dangerous. <laughs> right in a wooden theatre. What could possibly go wrong? Catman, I realised why I didn't get the notification. Because Catman was streaming since about 11 o'clock our time. Um, and I totally missed it because I was stuck in Stardew. And I don't get oh. the notifications on the phone sometimes. She was stuck, Catman. Stuck in Stardew. I was Stardew. stuck. <laughs> I made it to level 100 in the Skull Cave. Oh my gosh, that sounds very impressive. I it means nothing to me, but it does sound <laughs> very impressive. We'll, we'll do that soon. I will take you down to that cave. Level 100. Wow. No, no, didn't get my legendary fish back. I'm just gonna have to deal, just be happy with the junior fish. You know what though? Um, what I read was if I do multiplayer and someone else catches it on my save file, I can, um, I can then, they can put it in a chest and I can submit it for the 100% completion, but that's for later. It's not like I've not caught it. I've caught it so many times before. Is this in Ryan, no, no. I'm sorry, what? Oh, I was just mm. saying it's, it's, it's Stardew year that you're talking about. Yeah. Um, so there are legendary fish that you can catch. There's four for one for each season. And I did catch the summer one. And then there's a new uh, machine that takes a fish that you've caught and it'll make a f that, that fish specific bait. And, and then, then I put a mod it. that'll automatically take things from a chest nearby and put it into the machine. I didn't realize that the chest I put the fish into was touching the stupid machine. So it made all the fish that was in that chest into bait. And you oh, can catch it. No. <laughs> you can catch it once per save file. Oh, you can't catch man. it. Again. Yeah. I was crying and yelling and screaming. <laughs> I was like, look at it. Why do I have angler bait? How would I get angler when I looked? I was looking at all the chests. I'm like, where is the stupid legendary? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. That's painful. It was. I winched about it to many people, which is why right when Nora knows about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Welcome in, right by the way, Romanora. And Suli! Yeah. Suli's Hi, back! Hello! She said she's been licking for a while. Aww. Um, If it was my first uh, playthrough, I would have definitely restarted. But this is like, what, my eighth? So it's fine. You handle it much more maturely than I would have. This <laughs> is Romanora. I would have in yeah. uninstalled it. <laughs> what you building today, Suli? So far, I've finished the train station, I think. So we've got this it's here. Looking good. This is the little Wild West train station. The train's easy to see across the tracks, so we'll go over here. There's the train. I don't know oh, why. Oh, did you put a little fish fish tank as well? That's cool. For the for the glass at the front, we really need a clear yeah. glass block, don't we? we, do. we Half do. a fish tank. That's all it would take. So there's the train, and I've also been working on the theatre. Oh, I like the train. Train's looking so nice. 
Yes. That do looks it. like a call, like call on a train. I've got the little thing in here. You know, they put the coal in. Look, put it in. You can't see it. It's there. You see? <laughs> There's a little oven. It was further back, but the fish tank uh, screwed it up. Oh, it's looking so cool. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes in that little helmet. That's hilarious. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's the train. Oh, I didn't know you can see your eyes in the diving helmet. Yeah, look. Let's see if we can get it to do it again. Oh, 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 oh. Look. Get, I think, stand in somewhere so it has to, like, really see? load in. Oh, look, I'm breathing. Oh. Look at your face and you're breathing through the, through the helmet. Is that because it's winter? Do you breathe without the helmet? Yes. Let's see. Yes, I think. No, no, you can. I don't know if it's new though. Ah, oh, never noticed that before. I, I did notice. What an adorable touch. Uh-huh. James Bendon, yeah. just stop it already being so freaking <laughs> awesome. What the? And this is the Wild <laughs> West Town. Oh, the theatre. We worked on the theatre today. I might move those so there's... So I've been doing facades of buildings and then the actual buildings behind. So we can still go inside. I do like that idea. This it's is very the cool. theatre. And we've got the schoolhouse next door, which is in the church. So the front of it is the church, which is always at the uh, top of the high street in a wild west town. And then when mm -hmm. we go in, it's the school classroom because they were usually in the church. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if they would put a theatre next to the church. Angeline. I'm not telling you to I'm Angelique, not telling you to remove the whole just, thing, but just I'm just... stop it. Angelique, just <laughs> stop it. <laughs> you know, the devil's yeah, working. I know, the devil, yeah. <laughs> Probably not, but it's there now. Here we've got the sheriff's office. I don't little... know. Yeah, I think you should, like, remove the that jail. whole thing and no, move it to the No, no. <laughs> the cell in the sheriff's <laughs> office. Uh, the sheriff's desk. Gigi is an amazing designer. Yes. Toilet. Oh, too oh. kind. Too kind. Love the toilets and the, the bathtubs. Here, Sloth made this amazing little... I guess it's a cafe. A Wild West cafe. The oh, look, the store. doggy wants to go into the, to the sheriff's office. The what? The dog went in there. The maybe, it's, maybe it's the sheriff's dog. Go. <laughs> yeah. What else have we got? The Deadwood Saloon. We have the saloon. This was Pink's work at the front here. We've got the uh, alcohol down here, and at the back, Angelie worked on the uh, the hotel. They still have to finish decorating that bit. And Sloth and I made her put a red lava lamp in so it glows red at night because the double beds in here and we thought that was hilarious because back of a saloon you I, know we know i was happens. going i was going to add a whole new building <gasps> for the brothel yeah oh you yeah, still got to do that that's it. funny which is why i was telling you not to put the lamp oh, in okay. i figured i could not need it i didn't realize I was going that to add a new building. yeah we'll, i'll still do it let's pick that up then we'll pick that up uh-huh no, no, you can leave it. Are you sure? Nah, let's yeah. pick it up. Let's pick it up. <laughs> there. No house, house of ill repute here. <laughs> Suli and Rai Minora. They, It's going to go elsewhere. We're going to separate it off from the city. <laughs> uh, what else I was thinking we, we, can, we can have it like in a back alleyway, sort of. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We can even put it behind the saloon because there's an alley going yeah, down. Yeah, there's an alleyway. I've left alleyways on purpose between yeah. the buildings. Yeah. There's so I was thinking bank. we can have it behind. And the stable. Are mm -hmm. our creatures still in here? They are. We don't have horses, so we got a new stable. We need to get a few more moves. 
and okay. we're removed. Yeah. And then here's like where the, uh, you know, the big wig of the town lives and he gets up there on his <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh, right, when well, no, I humbly request a duck beak in the red light district with a sign that says, always, always pay, pay the, the bill. bill. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh, here we go. That's main. That's Main Street. You can't see it because of the cupboard there. That's as far as we've got, and you saw Mars, obviously. I'm assuming. I think you were here when we were building. We were building Mars. So this world's called the multiverse and we're going to do all different genres of things. So this is the Wild West area. Oh, Angelie's mine. Wow, there's a lot of poop here. Oh, the mine ain't not finished either. But she started it, guys. She started it. I started it. Here it is here. This is going to be the mine. We need little mine carts, don't we? Little we do carts. need a little mine cart. That would be brilliant. I'm an I say, a tour anyway. There we go. But tour anyway. The Mars thing? I can take mm -hmm. you to Mars. I like that the mag magic shovel stands up, right? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Good thing that slot told us that. I'm just picking up poop as I go. <laughs> if there was one mod that I would install for Dinkum, now that I've not installed other ones. It's um, is to poop the Roomba, yeah, the Pumba. The Pumba. That um, that tunnel is one of the secret tunnels that just lead into nowhere. Maybe it goes underground. Maybe it's an underground tunnel. Ooh, did they have them back then? I was just going to no. build it until it reached the wall <laughs> of Mars. Right, welcome to Mars. Hang on one sec, I need to pop this on. You gotta change your clothes. Cowboy, Mars Cowboy. Hey, ah, is, is there a song or something called Mars Cowboy? <laughs> no, but um, it'll be like Firefly. It'll be like what? Firefly. Fi oh, Firefly. <laughs> I love it. Brandcoats United! Yeah, Brandcoats! Actually, hang on. Where is it? Oh, is it not called Long Coat? I thought it was called Long Coat. Not much different from an Aussie uh, 1800s mining town. It's a bit like Sovereign Hill. Sovereign Hill, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, no. <gasps> Sovereign Hill has a candy shop? Yeah, cause Sovereign Hill's always yeah. had a candy shop, hasn't it? Yeah, With but I'm, I was balls. trying to remember oh. the shops that they have and what we can add in here. Here we go, Brown Coats Unite. Let's go to Mars. Nice. Um, they do have a mining... Oh, I should take some... I should look at some pictures of the Sovereign Hill mining thing. Um... So I can kind of replicate it. So Mars is all enclosed so that we can't see trees. So that when we're in here, oh, we feel like we're... So good. On it's looking planet. so good. The crater's got the rocket in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, there we go. We've got our solar panels and we've got our, obviously, habitats. Ah, you can. Um, the traps that are put have down the, have got stuff now. Um, where you have that building next to the rocket, you can place some uh, crafting tables. As in, like, tables where things have been fixed and broken oh, stuff. We've got the cheese. Is it a cheese maker? Mm -hmm. uh, I put that in for radar dishes, and it looks pretty good when it's, like, low down. Like it does here. look good. Mm -hmm. Kind of radar dishy. A little bit. One hill settlement. This Swan Hill settlement. Is there one in Swan Hill as well? Oh, 
Pioneer Settlement, Heartbeat of Murray. Mm. Sunny, 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 rainy. Oh, I've never been there. I mean, of course, I, that's nowhere near where I live. This was meant to be a moon thing that I saw online and it had tracks on it, but it just looks like a building. But it was meant to be the car with like tra uh, tank tracks on the side. We really, we really need this call freak. Oh, oh, uh, uh, one of the vehicles that was used. Oh, look at these guys. Are they stuck? I'm waiting for the stream to catch up. Ah! It looks like they are stuck. It's because it's too down. They can't come. Oh, no. Oh, they're glitchy. Two Tonys. Oh. Ramonora says you can uh, chuck some meteors around. You can do spawn carry. What's spawn carry? Remember we were spawning in the satellites and stuff? Oh, with the number thing, place item, that thing. No, no not place item. You had to put spawn carry and then uh, space 14 and she's saying that's for the media. Remember we were spawning in uh, thunder eggs and all? Okay, let's see what happens. Spawn carry mm -hmm. 14. Ah! <laughs> That's cool. Will it stay there? Yeah, yeah, it oh, will stay. Oh, let's put a few of those around. That's awesome. Thank you, Rymanora. Thanks, Rymanora. That's so cool. Um, you can crazy. also uh, pop down a few of the satellites if you want. Yeah, we were going to do that, weren't we? And we, mm -hmm. no, we haven't done it yet. I <laughs> love that. Ramana, do you have the list um, that will give us the number for the satellite as well? I made a list, but it's way up in the Discord chat. Did it come out of your butt? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it seemed she that way, pooped, didn't it? He pooped a meteor out. <laughs> <laughs> it did look that way. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Okay, back to the Wild West we go. This bed is uh, putting me off. And the potatoes all gone. Do I have to come and Let's check pop the some more potatoes? There's a, there's a couple left. <coughs> Four potatoes. And a plant. That's alright, Ramonora. I'll find the list. I made one a couple of days ago. Oh, Slot will know it. Are you muted? Oh. Oh, cheers, Benny. Thank you so much. Wow, coming from Benny as well. That's wild. I know. Thank you, Benny. That means a lot. The master himself. That's amazing. Thank you. Whee. Right, back to the train station and what, what not. So where are you thinking of putting the brothel? 
I was thinking, uh, you know, uh, behind the saloon next to the barn. Uh huh. Next year. So there is that alleyway down. So you, you know, get fully drunk and then you stumble to the, the alley. alleyway. Uh huh. <laughs> so behind the saloon. Here. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, there's, there's loads of room here, right enough. There is, yeah. And behind the uh, stable. Yep, yep. But I don't want it to go too uh, too much towards the gold mine as well. Hey, Christian. Oh, Christian's in as well. Wow, it's looking pretty good from above. Really I think pretty. you can tell it's Wild West. I, I think so. It's looking awesome. Come together. Um, a little further out, we can put like a ranch or something. Yeah, well, we've got all this room. I want it to like butt up against Mars. Mm -hmm. So, I'll finish How the are you train gonna... thing. Sorry. How are you going to, like, um, differentiate? Do you want to, like, maybe put a row of trees? Yeah, we could do. Can we? we need to differentiate it somehow. Wow, Mars looks so cool at night, though. Mm. It does look nice. Did an amazing job on this. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Say thank you and do <laughs> What's it say? When when do y'all come over? I'm mountain time. It's mountain time. Is that a US time zone? I'm gonna guess. I know there's no helicopters in the Wild West, but I'm just putting it here. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they had hot air balloons. Ooh, did they? I That's know, a good not. idea. I we'll need to look that up and see when hot air balloons became... Well, Phineas Fogg had them, and that was late 1800s, right? Uh-huh. Oh, I see what you're doing there, Missy. Pink. <laughs> Oh, I feel like the I feel like chat has had a had a uh, what do you call it? like a resurgence oh, of energy. Hot air balloon was invented in seventeen eighty three. Oh, so they would have had they could have had hot air balloons. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh well, uh, that's something else that we can add in then. <laughs> Benny's like, good day, everyone. Here. Big fan. I've been lurking a for a tiny bit. Um, have fun and an awesome stream. Oh, cheers, Benny. Thank you so much for popping in. The legend himself. Right, we need something next to the church. Hmm. Oh, we could have the, uh, like a pastor's house. Like a... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just to fill out this area a little bit more. Uh-huh. I think maybe I'll move the gold mine somewhere else um so we can have the pastor's house and maybe like have the line houses that um oh the row houses yeah, yeah 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 the row houses we can have a couple of those um just in a, in some like foundations yeah that's a good idea the row houses i need to look them up to see what they look like mm-hmm Gonna have to go soon anyway. My neck's killing me. Oh. Catman does a 10 hour stream, that's for sure. Oof, sheesh. One more day of work and then we are on holidays. Whoop, whoop. Wait, is that the house for the, for the pastor? 
I'm just marking out where the building might go. It doesn't okay. have to be the pasta, it can be the row houses. It is a very big building up, up, up and down there. It is. What do row houses look like? Let me just look. Wild West Row House. Let's see if we can see anything. Uh, well, a lot of Wild West houses did not have uh, pitched roofs. They had flat roofs. Oh, mm. um, they say that um, they used hot air balloons in the war. Both the Union and the Confederacies um, used hot air balloons for reconnaissance to help determine the locations. What? I had How do you no never see idea. that? It's like it said in that documentary yesterday, though, Angelie. Our view of the Wild West and what it was is very tainted by Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, they were using the American Civil War. That's crazy. I would never have thought of that. No. Yeah, that's oh wild. God. Should learn better history stuff. I think row houses might <laughs> imagine have... getting mm. imagine getting chased down by a hot air balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, the cemetery is, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, put the cemetery next to the, next to the church. Oh, Catman, we have got, we've Cat got, Man I've got it on my list, Boot Hill Tombstone, it's written right there. That's a great idea, can I love you, it. Can you add the row houses to that list as well? Do you know what, I just looked up row houses and I don't think they were a thing. Oh. In the Wild West. Maybe we can just make it like few cabins. Yeah, it looks more likely that that's exactly what it was. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's a newer thing. Yeah, it seemed to be. You can take the space where the mine is. I think I'm going to pop the mine somewhere else because the mine wouldn't have been so close to town. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to take a sec guys just to uh, do a little googly googly a little googly googly uh, oh that's a cool idea Gonna steal that one. <laughs> steal that. Steal that idea. Do we have like a general supplies shop, like where they would sell clothes and food and? We've got the mercantile that Sloth did, but I think it's a food thing. Yeah. Um, and a post office. I think we were talking oh, about duh. adding a post telegraph office. Telegraph office. Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. Oh, there's still loads to do then. There's still loads to do. I know. So I keep fun. adding it. Sorry. <laughs> and we haven't even started on the other areas, which is awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm stealing an idea that I just saw on the Googs. never heard it being called the Googs, but I will use it from now on. Uh, I never called it the Googs either. I literally just made it up right then. <laughs> 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 just flew out of my mouth. Talking nonsense. Absolute nonsense. That's what happens when you get tired. <laughs> exactly. One, two, three... Wait, aren't you putting the t the cemetery here? Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, is that one? Two, you should have an open grave. Yeah, grave. You can because you can put the standing uh, shovel down. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it's That's half cool. being half being. Uh, The Pony Express Post Office. Oh, the post office can be near the stables. Oh, that makes sense. All right, I gotta go back to work, sadly. So I'll leave you. I'll be oh, back on yeah. touch. All right, thank you. Uh. Oh man, I keep putting things away that I need, but it's because I don't need them in that moment. Just get this started and then we'll finish up, I think, because my neck is so sore, guys. So sore. What a lightweight. What a lightweight. Just stick down some of these to remind us of what this place is going to be. Because I just looked up Wild West cemeteries and there's no rhyme the reason to where they put their head headstones and things. It's crazy. Crazy town. Ours is going to be neater. Ah, oh, you dope. Now it's the magic shovel, isn't it, that stands upright? Hopefully it's this one. Angelie's back in chat and all is right with the universe. that. That's hilarious. Uh, let's grab some of this and some of this. Oh, it's not that one, it's the other one. No? Oh yeah, it is that one. Whoops.
Oh, it's not wire, it's tin. Uh, I'm assuming this was a rich person's gig, but I looked it up and there was a picture and it had a schmancy little thing like this in the Wild West Cemetery. Schmancy! How rich must you have been to afford that? You're in private little thing. Snooze Town Tony, no problem. I'll catch up with you later about the uh, 3D printing. I could do with a <laughs> I could do with a nap right now as well. My poor bloody wife is uh, working and she's sick. So I certainly won't be taking a nap. Poor bugger. No problem, Tony. Thank you. Uh, what time is it? 1.42. I'm definitely going to finish in a moment because that is insane. Right. I noticed that they seem to have white picket fence on a lot of the pictures. So that's the fence that we're going to go for. Should look nice next to the church right enough. We'll put it up on a level. Let's see what it looks like. Actually, let's put it up on a level on one side and down on a level on the other and see. You guys can give me your opinion and then we'll hit the road, Jack! Do we like it better without the dirt or with the dirt? Hmm, wondering without might look better actually. It butts up better against the signs, doesn't it? What do you think? I'm kind of thinking without. But we'll see what the, uh, we'll see what chat thinks. What do you think? With? this dirt thing or without? I think without. But I'm going to go with chat. Let's see. We'll pop it all the way along and have a look. What do you think, chat? Which one? Look like a vampire hunter or something with that. With your reckon Roman aura. Uh, what was I about to do? Oh, take my helmet off. Still on Mars. Roman aura is with. Melanie is with. Bit short without. So with, with it is. I humbly request a Roman or a gravestone. Oh, Roman or he didn't have to pay for it. You could have just asked. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Every little bit will help me uh, get some free games for competitions. Oh my god, I keep forgetting to uh, pop the winner of the last competition in. I should definitely do that later. I'll get Tracy to choose choose at random. Everyone's names are too familiar to me, so I'll get Tracy to do it. 
bit more fair. Whee! Pretty cute. I wanted to super chat anyway. This just gave me an excuse. Oh, cheers, Romanora. Thank you so much. That's really lovely. Yeah, which where would you like your gravestone to be? Would you like a little private one with a fence around it like this? What would you like it to look like, Romanora? Do you want to hop on and do it yourself? What would you like to do? Do you want a fancy one? I don't know what other things we could um, use for a grave. Oh, we could put like a, a raised one that's super fancy. Like this. Like a brick one. See what it looks like. You could do that. Fanciest girl in the cemetery. <laughs> like that. What do you think? What would you like it to look like? I want to be next to one that says Angelis. Angelis Slime Jack. What on earth is that? <laughs> what on earth is that? Oh my goodness. That's wild. Oh, you know, it would be good little coffins. Wouldn't that be good? This is too long. Better short. Or is that too short? Yeah, little little coffins would be adorable, wouldn't they? Stick those outside the Undertaker. You like this one, Romanora, with the little bit of brick? Oh, the legendary fish that you made in the bait. Oh, that's painful. <laughs> oh, man. We can ride on it, right? Have I not got the pencil in my hand? What a dope. Right. How many lines of text do we get, do you know? we get three? Let's see. Hey, oh! <laughs> what do you think? What do you think, Romanora? What do you reckon? Not appreciate my puns while I'm alive with a grave mistake. <laughs> I wish we had more room to write stuff on the blooming gravestone. Like we're still burying it. What, do you, what is going on? What do you need me to do? Because I'll forget next time. Uh, so an open grave with a fish tank in it. Is that what we're going for? You guys are wild. You're wild. Do you want the fish tank two down? I might have to make it longer just so I can get it in there. What fish 
fish would you like? We need to get a fish from the mine. Is that a lantern fish? Can we get a lantern fish? Let's see. I wish we had a lantern. I know that. But can we not get the fish in here? Fish and bugs. Let's see. What, what creepy fish can we get? Let's have a look here. Let's see. Da -da -da ding Anything at all here. Uh, I thought there was a land fish, but I'd... oh, there is deep fish. Let's get a deep fish, and hopefully that's in a tank and not in a bowl. Let's have a look. Oh, look! Look at us in the graveyard at night while it's raining. Very atmospheric. I'm sure you will agree. Oh, can we not put this one down? Oh, we can. We can. Here you go. that dog lurking around the graveyard. What's chat saying? Sue, Sue Lee. Oh, Sue Lee, you didn't have to do that. Thank you. Wow, I tell you, coming into um, my chat and talking to you guys can just um, renew the faith in humanity, put it that way. That's so nice. What are, what are we putting on the gravestone here, guys? Just so that I don't screw it up. Because if I don't do it now, I'll forget. And then... Um, do you, Should we put it down one further? Or should we leave it at that level? So let me know. I know, Sue Lee. Way too kind. Way too kind. Thank you so much. Oh, there's the, there's the alert. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. So kind. So, so kind. Angelie's Angler. I got you, girl. So I have to put it in with my uh, with my joystick, which is why it's taking so long. Sorry. I wish we had uh, punctuation as well and numbers. Numbers would be amazing. De -de -de -de! There we go. Angelese Angler. What a beast. Look at that thing. Ramanura, I might have to move your grave, your your thing back one so it matches, because it's going to do my head in otherwise. Because that's how my brain works. Sorry, now I'm going to have to write it all in again. I know, I know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Hard to see at night. Is that not working? Have I put that around the wrong way? Oh, I haven't. It's just uh, strangely worn out. You must have died quite a long time ago, Rymanora. <laughs> I love the dogs wandering around. Do if we use a key wait if we use a keyboard is there numbers I can't use my keyboard 
as far as I'm aware. Let me try again. Because I every time I uh, go to touch it, <gasps> it's working. What can we put? What can we put? Can we fake return as well? Can we fake return? No, we can't. What does that look like? Does that look a mess? Get out of town. I didn't know you could fit numbers. What the? I wonder why it wouldn't let me do that last time. That's so weird. Maybe because I put it on with the joystick and not with the with this, with the mouse. Maybe that's what it was. Let's give some ownership to that. Hey, oh. I need to sleep and see if Rymanora's is uh, working properly. I've got a bed in my pocket. And then I think we'll end the stream. I don't want to because I'm having so much fun with you guys. I'm not gonna lie. You're amazing. Oh, it's there. There we go. What do we think? Step back a little. Both there. Do one for the dirt printers. AJ's dirt printers. <laughs> oh my god. Stop doing that. Oh. Can't be too close to each other, otherwise it won't go on to the next line. you don't. I might make them three long as well if that makes sense.
need some broken stone for here so that it looks like that one's sort of ruined a bit. The magic shovel? Let me show you. Right here. Waiting for the next poor soul to leave this life. Right there. Oh, one of your uncles passed away this morning. I'm so sorry, Sloth. I hope your family's okay. That's There's so many people dying this week that I know or know vicariously. It's um, It's been a rough couple of weeks, folks. It really has. Use the stone wand and jackhammer once. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a, a tough one. Colin's back from the UK now after going to his funeral that he had to go to. Tracy's mum is still in the UK. Uh, the funeral that she had to go to was yesterday. And it well went as well as it uh, could have given the horrible circumstances of it. Yeah, not, not a great week. Not a great week. Or two weeks actually. There we go. It's a great idea. Cheers again, Angeli. Yeah, that's rough. That's rough sloth. I might bring this fence forward. We'll see. Sloth, any uh any gravestone messages that you'd like for yourself? Would you like a gravestone? According to the nurses, he told them my gram and pup were there in the room and my mom all have passed. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, if you believe in that stuff, that's very comforting, I'm sure. Very comforting indeed. Right, I think I'm going to leave the stream there. I feel bad because Sloth just arrived. Um, maybe I'll hang out for a little bit longer. No, I find Sarah who's creepy as an adult. As a kid, I loved to hide in them from my mother. I was running through a cemetery when I was about 13 uh, with a couple of friends at night. Being a jerk. Being a jerk, as you do. And uh, my leg went straight down into some soft dirt up to the knee and it was terrifying that's my memory of being a dick when I was a teenager I didn't really do very many um, bad things as a teen I was quite uh, I was a quiet nerd I just liked my own space but yeah that that was uh, that was a stupid thing that I did now, is Boot Hill one word? I think it is. No, it's not. Looks like it's two. Can we fit cemetery in as well? Can we fit it in? <gasps> we can. I spelled cemetery right then, didn't I? Cemetery. Why do words look wrong when I uh, put them in? along sloth it's coming along I did the theater and the train station today so I'll just give you a quick little tour before I end the stream is the theater I did it off center so my door didn't fit so that's why it's got a fake wooden door there and then we come around the back 
and the inside of the theater is here with poop in it and a dog on stage for no apparent reason <laughs> Blair witching in the corner not spooky at all there's the theater Creeping me out, speaking of creepy things. You love it? Oh, cheers. And we've I've been working on the railway. It's going to go into this fake tunnel. This is the station. Train station, and that's the train. Might add a few more carts to it, I'm not sure. Come in here and you've got your furnace thing. I don't know what these guys are doing up there, just uh, messing with me. And across here we've got like the storage for the train. Stuff that would get put on or whatever. And the train track at the back obviously leading off into wherever. So that was good because that filled up uh, like a bit at the back. Doggo is practicing to be Lassie. Oh, how good was Lassie? I loved that show when I was young. There was another Lassie and the Littlest Hobo. Does anyone remember the Littlest Hobo? You're probably not allowed to say that anymore. Hobo, I think it might be a bad word now, is it? But the Littlest Hobo was um was a cute show about a dog that just wandered along and had adventures. That's it. So our, our Wild West Town is getting there. Getting there. And Main Street still looks cool. Angeli is going to put the brothel down this alleyway so they can stumble out of the saloon down this alleyway. And it's probably going to go either here, in this big block here, or directly behind here. And then we'll put some little <coughs> farmhouses or huts. Fill this in. And then a ranch off, probably off to the other side, so that it meets where Miles is. As a Canadian, I've seen every episode of Littlest Hobo. Was it a Canadian show, Melanie? Canada do such good shows. There's a show that got cancelled a few years ago that was Canadian, and I absolutely loved it. What was that called? It actually had in it the girl that's in When Calls the Heart. Uh, Arctic Air. Arctic Air, that was such a good show. Gutted when that got cancelled. Loved it. Anyway, there we go. The ranch will probably go on this side and then it will meet up with Mars and then that's another area done and they're joined together. De -de -de -de. Tents and fires. Yep, tents and fires. Good idea. Yeah. I'm watching a show at the moment, guys. I don't know if any of you have watched it. It's on... Is it on Hulu or Netflix? I can't remember what it's on. Called The Sex Lives of College Girls. Oh my god, it's so funny. Like, I'm not usually a Mindy Kaling fan. I haven't watched any Mindy Kaling. I haven't watched any of her show. She annoys me in real life. Um, but Sex Lives of College Girls, I just love every character. There's only one annoying character in the whole show. Uh, which is something else for such a big ensemble cast. But the characters are... I'm I'm so um, old lady crushing on Timothy Chalamet's sister. She is so freaking adorable. I don't understand why he's so famous and she is not. <laughs> because her comedic timing is off chops. It's so good. Off chops, guys. Maybe I should lay some of this weird rocky dirt down just randomly spread it about
Oh, that one's that one's a bit that one's a bit much though, isn't it? This one might be better. Horses stand. They might be a little bit of, a little bit worn out. Cheers, Catman. Finally going to bed. Well, you deserve it after a ten-hour stream, my friend. That is absolutely bonkers. I'm not gonna lie. Try, try and put a horse and carriage. I did think about it. I was looking up the. Uh, I was looking up a wagon train. I was looking that up last night or the night before, but it looked pretty hard. But we could try. It's hard without wheels. That uh, without the wheel thing, the town looks really good. Gigi, cheers, Catman. I cannot believe he did a 10 hour stream. My neck is absolutely killing me sitting here. A carriage caravan, a little tent city. A tent city we can do, right? We can make a tent easily with the uh, with the thing. I think it was Rymanora that mentioned that yesterday or the day before. Yeah, we can do that. That's no problem. But a carriage? A carriage is hard. A carriage is hard. Alright guys, I'm going to end this stream. My neck is broken. It's so sore. Oops, don't pick that up. I mentioned that AJ, but she couldn't figure out a carriage. Yeah, I might mess about offline, do some practice, and uh, see, see what we can come up with, guys. I can't remember if I did anything, so I'm going to go to bed again. Through the middle of the very beige town. Bink! Thank you all for, for joining today and um, just being really awesome. I have to say, it's been a, a really cool stream today. We started off, we started off great. It kind of went a little quiet in the middle, but that's okay. And then it came back strong. Um, with lots of interesting conversation. We had a great conversation early in the stream about Dinkum and the things that, um, you know, how Dinkum was never meant to be a decorating game. It was always meant to be more of a survival crafting type game. And we talked about how uh, there were certain things that we would love in the game. Would we be happy to lose a huge amount of time if we knew we could get the things that we wanted. Like if James said, uh, you know, I'm going to add roofs and I'm going to add uh, height to the game, but you're going to lose your save game. How how we felt about that. And I think most of us were, were on the side of, yeah, we put up with that for big, big uh, game changes. Um, Sue Lee. Thank you. Thank you for dropping in again. It was really nice to see you again. Um, and thank you for the... Um, is it called a super chat? Is that what it's called? Happens so rarely that I don't even know what it's called. I think it's called a super chat. That was really kind of you. Thank you so much. Um, and I'll hopefully see you... Uh, see you all again on the next one. I'm not sure when that will be probably tomorrow Friday I'm out all day because as I said it's my granddaughter's birthday so I'll be spending the day with her um, cheers everyone and thank you again for your time most precious thing uh, you can give anybody else uh, I appreciate it all of you have a very good night or day
maybe we, he can release Dinkum 2.0 with new height. You know, I'd pay a hundred bucks for Dinkum. I sell it to as many people as I can for that reason. I think it is well underpriced uh, for what it does. I feel like it should at least be a $45 game. But there we go. Some people are stingy, aren't they? Thank you for streaming. Enjoyed your design. Thank you, Sue Lee, for your company. And I'll see you all uh, next time you pop in, which hopefully will be tomorrow. Take care.